Welcome, my friends. One of the biggest questions every young man must face is the question of, what must I do to become a more confident man? Today, I will take you on a journey of answering this question. Confidence is defined as assurance in one's ability to achieve and excel in a specific field, regardless of the adversity. Most men say that they are confident without having ever tested his capabilities. Confidence is the absence of insecurity and fear. But, confidence without validation is merely arrogance. However, an ego is confidence that is validated. Billionaires, champion fighters, people that have achieved great levels of success, all of them have a big ego, a confidence that is validated by endless hours of hard work, trial and error, and pure dedication until competence and success comes naturally and consistently. Carrying yourself in a manner that makes you look confident is so much easier when you've done the work to ensure that your confidence is genuine and validated. Before you can become the confident master of your sphere of influence, you must become the master of your own body. Getting in shape is something that anyone can do. If you do not have the body that you want, it is completely your fault, regardless of any excuse you may want to offer. When people meet a person that is objectively overweight and out of shape, there is a subconscious assumption that this person is lazy, unmotivated, lacks self-control, and does not take personal accountability. However, when people meet a man that is in good physical shape, there is automatically an assumption that this person is, if nothing else, disciplined and hardworking. The saying goes, a weak body reflects a weak mind. But when you force yourself to do something that is hard, pushing through the perceived limits that your weak mind is set, you not only become stronger in body, but also in mind and in willpower. And the things that you once thought were impossible now become within your grasp. When you get in the best shape of your life, becoming confident in your appearance is so much easier. You will stand out in most rooms in which you find yourself, especially since statistics demonstrate that 75% of men in the United States are either overweight or obese. And all of a sudden, all of your clothes will instantly start looking better and sharper on you. Justin Waller famously said that it is the clothes that wear the man and not the man that wears the clothes. We've all seen the fat loser buy and wear expensive designer brands that still fit him poorly and look frumpy on him. But yet the man that is built like a Greek god makes even Walmart brand clothes look good. You want to be the kind of man that your clothes can proudly wear. And when it is time to take off your clothes, whether it's in the locker room, at the beach, or in enjoying intimate time with a lady, it is just as important, if not more, to be confident in the body that's representing you. Now. You may say that you have trouble with confidence in talking to people. You can gain this confidence by simply becoming smarter. Talking to people and engaging in enthralling conversation with anyone becomes easy when you know a little bit about everything. You see, in ancient times, people would travel from far and wide in land caravans across hostile country to seek knowledge hidden in the libraries of Alexandria or in the great halls of academia in Timbuktu. But today, in the 21st century, in an era known as the age of information, there is no reason for a man to be stupid and uninformed. With access to the internet, you have more information available to you at your fingertips and in the palm of your hand than was contained in all of the libraries of the ancient world. Make a conscious effort to be smarter. If there is a topic of discussion that you encounter in your day-to-day -day life about which you know very little, take note of it and find a YouTube documentary on the topic when you get home. Or read an online article about it. Replace your mindless entertainment on TV at home with informative documentaries that make you more intelligent and informed. If you have long commutes to work, instead of listening to music during your drive, try to get through as many non-fiction audiobooks and topics that interest you as possible. If you do these things, you will very quickly notice yourself becoming smarter and sharper, and thus a better, more engaging conversationalist. You will very easily be able to talk to anyone about anything, because you will know a little bit about everything. Running out of things to discuss will no longer be a problem, because no matter what someone says to you, you will know something about the topic to talk back to them about. You will be able to pick up on complex jokes and allusions that require deeper context to understand, and you will, as well, be able to express this higher level of witty humor with your vast acumen of knowledge. 
You will be seen as others, as a natural communicator and a competent leader due to your social interactive abilities. By becoming the most intelligent and mentally sharp version of yourself, confidence in speaking to others will come naturally. One of the best ways to boost self-esteem is to put forth the effort needed to become successful and in a state of financial abundance. When you can go where you want, treat yourselves to luxuries foreign to the average person. Give the women in your life experiences they would not have the resources to give themselves. Never have to worry about financial impacts of unforeseen emergencies and be the object of envy of the people around you. When you can do those things, it is extremely difficult to not have a high degree of self-worth and confidence. Now, how does one become financially successful? Learn about money. Learn what it is, how it works, how it moves, and see that money is everywhere. Then, you work hard to get it. In a first world country, opportunity is everywhere. From internet-based side hustles, to ride sharing, e-commerce, side gigs, money making opportunities are everywhere. Find something you're good at, research different ways to monetize your skill and make it happen. Even if you don't have any skills, community college is a fast and economical way to develop professional skills that can immediately translate into paychecks. In the meantime, get into a steady grind at your main job. The job market is wide open with most employers begging for workers with offers of higher pay due to so many people not wanting to work. Most people don't even realize that you can easily more than double your income simply by picking up overtime. For example, just by working 80 hours a week, someone making only $20 an hour can earn $100,000 a year. And as you're working hard at your job to boost your income, do some research and learn about investing so that you can make your hard earned money make more money for you. You may say that's a lot of work and if I do all of these things I won't have a life. Well listen, if you don't do any of these things you won't have a life either because you're a loser. And on the subject of confidence, what better way to be confident in every circumstance that you face in life than to have an undefeatable champion fighting on your side. Developing a relationship with God is the single most important thing a man can do to build his confidence. No matter what circumstance you may face, how better can one be assured in victory than in acknowledging the all-knowing, all-powerful creator of the universe is standing at your side fighting every battle you face in life on your behalf? And what better way to rid yourself of worry in times that you don't know what to do besides trusting the one who is the true master planner who holds all the future of all things in his hands? I will quote the Apostle Paul in his letter to Rome. If God is for us, who can stand against us? Lastly, an essential way to become more confident is by learning how to fight. Every man should find a martial arts gym and dedicate himself to the experience of learning to fight at a competitive level. Besides getting in amazing shape, learning to fight will make you face your fears and overcome them every single day. Nothing increases confidence like knowing that you don't have the need to fear anyone in any room that you are in because you can destroy everyone. This is a confidence that other people will be able to sense on you without you saying a word. Everyone can sense when a man walks into the room and when that man is dangerous. Just by how he carries himself without saying a word, when he walks into the room and other men size him up, they look at this guy and they say, nah, he's not the one. If you line up a thousand guys and you ask them, are you tough? Most of them will say yes, but very few of them have had their toughness tested. You see, most men think very highly of themselves, but have never had their self-image challenged and proven. The guys that are the loudest and the most taunting and boastful in an effort to look tough are often the men with the least amount of self-assurance. They jeer and they talk so much trash, not just to intimidate any would-be challengers, but more so to talk themselves up and to prove to themselves that they are really as tough as they say they are, because real conflict has never validated their confidence. You see, a man that tests, refines, and proves his toughness and resolve every day in a martial arts gym does not need to speak loudly with his words because he is very much assured in his ability to assert himself with his actions. This man can look himself in the mirror every single day and know that he is truly the man that he says that he is. I think every man should train hard and get to the point of competing in a competitive fight at least once in his life. The lessons that combat teaches go far beyond the simple dynamics of fighting. The journey to becoming a warrior teaches an indomitable spirit that makes everything else in life easy. 
If you can endure the hardship and pain that comes with pushing yourself to your physical limits in training, getting beat up in sparring as you're training to get better, improving your cardio, cutting weight for weigh-ins, and then finally standing across the cage or ring from someone who is intent on destroying you, if you can bring yourself to do these things, then win or lose, everything else that you face in life is easy by comparison. Learning how to fight, physically, gives you the confidence like nothing else to show up to win the fight of life. So what will applying all these keys to building confidence do for your life? Having true, genuine, validated confidence from being the man you are supposed to be will make doors in life open up to you left and right. When your confidence is real, you will be bold in taking risks that others shy away from, and other men will naturally respect you as a leader among them. Your self-assurance will make you irresistibly attractive to women, and you will notice yourself absorbing the women around you rather than having to chase them. Interacting with women will be effortless with your newfound confidence in conversation as well as self-assurance of your value, knowing that you are the prize. In the professional world, when positions for promotion and advancement open up, you will immediately stand out as the best option due to your persistent proof of worthiness and competency. And most importantly, when you are alone with yourself, you will have the satisfaction of knowing that you are exactly the man that you want to be, who is living the life that you want to have. And now that you have the tools to be as confident, as proficient as you want, the entire world is laid out before you. You have the power to choose the destiny that you want. So go forth and conquer, my friends. The world is yours.